All right, so it's started Thanksgiving break. I'm getting some instruction in out on the patio. The World Cup is just getting underway. Um, what we're going to look at for today is um, a bit of federalism. Um, and in particular, once we take that federal piece of power and federalism and divide it into separation of powers, have a legislative branch, an executive branch, and a judicial branch, the SOP, the, that is the separation of powers. We've got three different branches of government. We're focusing mainly on the legislative branch today. There's going to be a Senate and a House of Representatives, which gives us a bicameral legislature. Okay, bicameral meaning there are two houses in the legislature, the Senate and the House of Representatives. The Senate is considered the upper house. The House of Representatives is considered the lower house, closer to the people. With the House of Representatives, they are chosen directly by the people at the time of the writing of the Constitution. And every two-year terms, the House is meant to be very responsive to the wants and wishes of the people. So they serve only two-year terms. But they are chosen directly by the voters. The Senate is considered a higher, um, a more esteemed house to be in. And as a result, they are chosen, they're a little bit removed from the people. They are chosen by state legislatures and they serve six-year terms. So once they're there, they're for a long time. So if people get mad at them for some decision they make, for some vote they make, they can replace their house member, but only for their house district. But their center is still going to be there. And chances are people may forget a vote that is unpopular early on in a senator's term. If it's at the end of his term, then he has to defend it and try and get reelected. But... They are chosen by the state legislature, so they don't have to convince the people as a whole. They had to convince the state legislature so they made a good vote if it's controversial. Um, but I want you to understand again, the Senate is considered the upper house, the reps are the lower house. They are more closely tied to the people. In the Constitution, the legislature was favored to be the strongest branch. They considered it to be... Um, because there's so many members to it, the House is based on population, the Senate, each state gets two, so that each state gets equal representation. I'm sorry, my dog's going a little crazy behind me. Hey, Thor! In the Constitution, the legislature is drawn out. They have specific numbered powers. These are called the enumerated powers. Enumerated meaning made with a number list and it says number one congress can do this number two congress can do this and so forth but it's part of this concept of limited government they specify what congress can take action on article one that makes the legislature that has these enumerated powers is the longest article of the three that build the three branches the legislature is considered the favored branch it was set up to be the most powerful of the three the House of Representatives is, with its two-year terms, is meant to be a response to tyranny of government. If the government's making bad decisions, the people have the power to replace that House of Representatives to slow down the actions they're taking or to undo the actions that they've taken. The Senate, because they're chosen by the state legislatures and they're going to serve six-year terms, is to protect the government from the tyranny of the people. They just seen Shays' Rebellion happen under the Articles of Federation. The people were upset. They were trying to overthrow the government. And the Senate, with its longer terms, being chosen by legislatures, not by, not by direct election of the people, it was to protect them. It was to protect one of the branches to give it a more um, consistent or, or less likely to sway rapidly. Um, it, was, it was to give some sense of consistency to the government and so you need to be aware of these two ideas tyranny of government where the government's become too powerful tyranny of the people where the people are just trying to take out the government because they don't like a singular action taken by the government this is um part of building the government one of the three things the constitution does builds the government it limits the power of the government as we saw here with specified enumerated powers and it protects people from the government that we our Bill of Rights will get to later on.